Well, hello everyone. It's mailbox time again. Mailbox, mailbag. I change my t mind about what it's called all the time. Um, I call it a mailbox because it is actually a box um, in a post office where I go and collect all the stuff. Uh, you may hear stuff being opened in the background. Uh, Miss Hubnut is busy preparing stuff to make life easier for me. Uh, also, some particularly lovely writing. So um, that's how you send stuff my way. So uh, yeah, make a note of that address. It's also in the description. Uh -oh. What's going on here? <gasps> well, isn't this fitting? Foxel Vectra brochure. Well, that's fitting because Vixella the Vectra is right here. Um, ooh, SXI, that looks fun. Let's see if we can find the, the facts. What's the curb weight? Uh, the curb weight of the hatchback, 1,348 kilograms. Now we know. Have we got performance in here? I'd like to know the performance. 2.2 uh, 16 valve hatch saloon, 135 miles an hour, and it should do 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds. So that's quite good. But yeah, I do love a brochure and I haven't got this one. So that's very nice. Uh, find some nice pictures to show you, like the remarkable beige interior you get in some models. A bit more interesting than the, um, the black of Vixella here. Uh, yeah. Poised, fresh and distinctive. Yeah. What ebbs, mate? I quite like it, but poised isn't a word that springs to mind, to be honest. So, I don't think we've got a letter with that one. Oh, there is a little card uh, of a castle. Uh, thought you'd welcome the enclosed brochure. Best wishes, Andrew Thornton, Ely Cathedral, uh, where I used to live. Ely Cathedral, um, Ship of the Fens, as they called it, because it is the only thing for miles around. In fact, we used to live about 12 miles away from it, and we could see it because there was nothing between us and Ely Cathedral. There we go. Right. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into postcards. One has already had a sneaky um, preview. These are, these are always from Martin Neumann. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, that's um, from Yemen. Uh, with Lucas Plum. And he, he's made one himself as well. And uh, that's fitted because just the other side of the Vector is not my Volvo. Uh, so thank you, Martin. Oh wow, he's been following since the 100 years of Citroen last year at La Ferte de Dame uh, in France. That was a big adventure. Right, open here, letter enclosed. Oh, we've got some heavy duty 3M tape. Now what's he planning? Uh, me to do with that. Oh, and there's some pens. Oh, is this what is this what I need to do next? Is pens? Let's get the focus. There we go. Shed TV. Maybe I need to do some hubnut pens. Uh, guaranteed they won't work. So what does Shed TV say? Should be able to use this to reattach the window runner to Tuck's door. Easy to apply and plenty of info on the internet about surface preparation. Uh, Keith Cookson of Shed TV. Thank you, Keith. Um, yeah, surface preparation. Um, you've watched Hubnut videos? Preparation, not really a thing, but thank you. That could be very useful. Miss Hubnut apparently likes the package she's on at the moment, which is not this package. Uh, this one has come from Leighton Buzzard. Oh, wow. Uh, thought I'd send these as you might never own one. Well, thanks, that's a bit defeatist. <laughs> Uh, but what he, what he sent me is uh, Talbot Matra Rancher. Get the focus lock on that bad boy. Now, this is a small one with the opening tailgate. Uh, it's by Matchbox. But um, in here is also, I think this is, a, yes, it is a Corgi one. Slightly larger. Uh, the full opening um, tailgate on the back of that one. Uh, Team Corgi. That is wonderful. And yes, if I'm not very much mistaken, a switch underneath so you can raise and lower the rear seat. <laughs> That's a delicious detail. I had one of these in red and I foolishly trashed it because I'm an idiot. But uh, yeah, wonderful. I'm not ruling out owning a Macho Rancho by any means. In fact, um, the chap who uh, owns the Honda Integra has a Macho Rancho. It's not quite road ready is the polite way of saying it's very rusty. 
but um, he has high hopes. Uh, so there we go. Now it goes over here. Well, you could put them in the box, you could, but I'm just putting them on the floor. I'm going to look at the one you went ooh about. So here we are. Um, where has it come from? Oh, it does not say. That's confusing. Right, uh, we seem to have badges variously. And a letter, we'll get to the letter first. Here are some genuine 1970s car badges. Maybe you can stick the Reliant one on Fox Anne, if she doesn't mind. From Gary in West Norfolk. Wow, that is quite a stash. Fit 127 Special. Ooh, should have got these out of the bubble wrap, really. That's nice. What have we got there? Alpha Sud, because presumably the rest of the car has rusted away. Oh, just with this one I've got stuck, it's coming out of the wrapper because it is a Simca. That's a lovely badge. I like that very much. I do have a bit of a collection of badges. I say collection, they're in various places. Not always the correct place. Uh, oh yes, the Reliant badge. Now I don't think the Fox ever wore a badge, but I might put that inside because that's lovely. The castle there. And we've got... Oh, the Alpha... I wonder if that's also off the Alpha suit. Very nice. It's getting quite dark out here, isn't it? Oh, and there's a car I'm yet to own or drive on video, other than a very brief drive um, last year at an event. Renault 4. Thank you very much. Uh, someone has got me a tub of copper grease. Thank you. Uh, I don't think we've got a name on that one. That's just appeared from somewhere. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Copper grease is always useful. Uh, it's another Leighton Buzzard. Yeah. Ooh. Here we go. The Austin A40 models running and maintenance instructions. Which generation of A40 is that? Oh, wow. The Devon and Dorset. I imagine that's going to be very, very detailed and very lovely. I'll enjoy reading that one. Uh, it's got the grease poster here. What's that for? That's an A30, A35. I apologise to no noisy people in the background if you can hear them. Full lubrication chart. I would really like one of those. I'm not sure I've ever actually driven an A35. And Odom's motor manual. What's this about? The motor car simply explained. Oh yes, ever so simple. Wow. Oh, the smell of that. When was that printed? Uh, reprinted 1957, first published 1949. Mm. I need to get a bookshelf just for books like that, really. So thank you very much, whoever that was. Very nice. Oh, we have another book. Oh, there's a letter. Sorry, we got a letter with the old books. To Mr. Hubner, these might be some new use to you or not. Uh, if you want them, fantastic. If not, pass them on. Well, yeah, I, I might get to the stage I will have to pass some stuff on. Uh, maybe we'll have the Hubnut car boot sale at some point. Uh, but hopefully I will get to read stuff first. Steve B. So thank you, Steve, for those items. Uh, ho ho! Now, that, that's very useful because I have this car here. It did actually come with a Haynes manual, but it's a softback one and the hardback's always better for reasons I don't fully understand. This one looks like it's been thumbed through slightly. So here we go. Petrol and diesel. Mm. Oh yes, how to rip the engine apart. Hopefully it won't come to that. There we go, the Vauxhall Vectra. Thank you very much, Sean, I think that one's come from. Okay. And, oh, I've just dropped that one all over the floor, which is rather spoilt the surprise. One of the best ones. Um, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. Miss Hubnut likes Fords, which 
a bit unfortunate given I own a Vectra. It's got a lovely Ford pen. There we go. Uh, I bet that works really nicely for a little bit and then breaks. Uh, Ford air freshener. Shall I put that in the Vectra? Maybe not. No. A little Ford notepad. Um, again, it's struggling a bit with the focus there. Look at that. And uh, a fidget spinner. <laughs> All the rage. I've never actually used a fidget spinner and now I have one. So um, I shall save those for when I get a Ford again. Please find enclosed some Ford goodies in the unlike unlikely event that you might add a Ford to your fleet in the future. Uh, best wishes, Stuart and Tina, down the road in Swansea. Uh, when are you going to review my Puma? Really do need to do a Puma, don't I? Uh, is it silver? I can't remember. We, we may have discussed it. There are too many silver Pumas. I would like to review a red one, but I don't think there are any red ones left. Thank you very much. But yeah, thank you for the Ford stuff. I, I still harbour dreams of importing a Ford Falcon. Maybe not Betty the Fairmont, but something similar. Uh, oh, long letter from Mark E. Pitt, whose partner does a process called Sinotype. Uh, blueprinting. Oh, wow. Uh, blueprints of a 2CV. That's rather pleasant. Is that the only one there? Yeah, I think it's just stuck to an, a bit of card to strengthen it up. Ah. Experiments in trying to do a more technical piece of art. Oh, well, thank you very much. That definitely deserves a spot in the new unit, I think. Look at that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Definitely need to do some art. Um, the problem is with the existing unit is I knew I wasn't going to stay in it for very long, so I never felt inclined to do very much there. Ooh, this has come from South Australia. I remember Australia. I remember how warm it was. Mate, it's been pretty warm here lately. Oh. Oh my gosh. The Holden Heritage. Look at that. And now I have a Holden, sort of. They did sell them in Australia, the Holden Vectra. Let's read the letter. I enjoy watching all your videos. Really impressed with your knowledge. I'm good at pretending. And find out, I often learn something new. Yes, I'm very good at demonstrating how not to do things. Your recent mailbag made me think you might like a spare copy of the Holden Heritage. Contains the VL models. Oh yes, the VL Commodore in Calais. Uh, under the black back cover, I placed some stickers of an automotive theme. Keep up your good work. From Tim Cox um, in Australia. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Um, I'm going to dig out the stickers first of all. There are a lot of them. Um, I love the Mitsubishi Magna. I'm going to have fun decorating, aren't I? Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations. This car sticker proves you've passed a random breath test. <laughs> wow. Uh, nobody knows Holden better than your Holden dealer. And other such fine... Um, oh. Stickers, look, Mitsubishi Galant, the VR4. That was the one they went rallying with. I think Penti Auricula um, had some exploits in one of those. And uh, Lancer as well. HSR2. These are great stickers. Have to find some cabinets to put them on. What's that one with the yellow pages? Oh, I wish I could apply that sticker to something. My other car is a Gogomobile. That's marvellous. Uh, yeah, thanks Tim. That's a great selection. Right, let's try and get the stickers out because otherwise I'm going to spill them absolutely everywhere. Thank you. And we'll, we'll take a look at some Holden history, shall we? Uh, oh yes. These are, this is the era of Holden I didn't really get to uh, appreciate, the 1970s ones. Uh, wonderful stuff. Uh, I was a bit disappointed with that, but you know, sometimes you only get to use what what um, is or test what you can get your hands on. Look at that belly dancing on a Holden. And if we go to the back, there's a, a handy guide to spotting your 1980s and 90s Commodores from um, VB uh, up to VY. That's lovely. Yeah, thank you very much. 
I, was, I wish I'd read that before going to Australia. I would have actually known something about the cars. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a VL. Just because, yeah, we need to f some hot VL action. Look at that, VL Estate. Or is that, no, that's the Chimera. That's the Chimera which the Cavalier Estates were based on. Uh, they tried to make it look like a VL Commodore. Uh, good times. And the LD Astra, which is quite clearly a Toyota of some sort, I think. Magnificent times. So yeah, thank you. I'm definitely going to have fun reading that one as well. So there we go. That's another mailbag concluded. Uh, do check the description below. Might not be doing these quite so regularly while we go through the move over the next few weeks. But yeah, very much appreciate your offerings. Thank you very much. Farewell. <laughs>